in here is this astronaut. Okay. And so um your assignment is to get y air assignment is just to get y by itself. So I'm gonna give you some more time. But I just wanna make sure that everybody has written the date down. Did you put a date on your bell work? You'll have a bell work quiz next week. No. What is the bell work quiz? So what I'll do is I'll give you a little piece of paper and it'll just have date on it. Um, so for instance, like let's say it's next Friday, it'll just say August 31st, number two. And I don't give you the problem. You just flip in your notebook and you write down everything you have for number two. Okay. So um, it's supposed to be a 100 point quiz for everybody because I see you, you come in, you're ready to go, you're on task, you deserve, you know, credit for coming in and doing some work. So it's a quiz grade, like a real quiz grade, even though I've done every problem with you and for you, you know, it's a quiz grade. So that's why it's important when you're not here, you still have to do the bell work. So when you're absent, you have to make up the bell work. I put really important questions in bell work, so. Um, if you're not here, how do you make up bell work? Does anybody know? Ask somebody next to you. Ask somebody around you. There's also a video posted in Schoology. That's right now I'm recording this. They can't hear you guys at all. You can, they can barely hear me. It's actually the worst thing about the video is it can't hear me that well. Someone says I should just get some earbuds and Bluetooth and it'll record my talking. So maybe I should do that. Nobody wants to hear me though, but sometimes people do say, well, miss, that's fine, but I couldn't hear anything you said. So. I don't think so, man. You need to do your math. I think it'd be okay. Um, I'll get you a napkin or something. Anyway, so um, your bow work quiz is always after a chapter test. Next week is your first chapter test. It's on Wednesday. Really, it should be Tuesday. We'll review today and tomorrow. But nobody wants a test after a three-day weekend. So we'll do a practice test on Tuesday and a real test on Wednesday. And your class, yeah, your class um, already corrected quizzes, right? On Monday. The next period did not. Okay. Anyway, there's a lot of random questions here. This is in your textbook on paper. This is a review of the whole chapter. So as you're doing it, you should think, well, what would I do if this was a test question? You know, how, how, how well do I know it? Okay. All right, I'm ready for number one. I think actually I should um, allow somebody to come to the board and do it for an extra credit point. Yeah, but we just dropped the fraction. That's a really good job. Okay, number two. For some of your questions will say the file for X. More often it says Y, but sometimes like X, the first half I just come into Y. And now you just have four times five. So it's going to give you that y again. Divide by four, good job. 20 divided by four is five. Eight divided by four is two. So that's another very good job. Yeah. The four. Mm -hmm. So you could look at it. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's nice to separate it. Mm -hmm. 
So maybe you can see what I'm going over four minus eight over four x. Okay. So um this when you divide by a certain amount, you know, like this is the negative of one half. This is like the equal of that. So like five you can even, like a fraction will be able to tell you what it is. With the L squared and the L. You know, I won't try to tell you what that is. Just use the equation. Okay. Um, so, um, you can't auto subtract, but you need to have some kind of subtract so you can kind of have it out there. So, like, fractional. Half of something like that. So, I looked at that and I was like, cool, that makes sense. This one here? This? So this student, um, like 6x minus 6x is 0. That's how they're showing that it just cancels. Gone. Canceled. Eliminated. And that's why down here it's just a negative y. I looked at that too. I, I like the way it looks. So I'll show you this all time. Okay, um, your assignment over on Latin, or excuse me, not just Latin, mm -hmm. um, and that is the same as the x and y divided by the x and y minus y. Can you do it now? Yeah. I don't know if you know your exact question. Wait, is that your five five now? No, you're not yours. You have that five. Yeah, I'm going to try to do it. It was like capital. Was it was it capital? Yeah, and it had double signs to it. Like you Yeah. If you did a long term distribution and then you use a capital sign, and normally it doesn't matter when you have to do a cap, but in this one it was a double so it's kind of like you have like capital and small and you know, so it ends up like that. I'll try to take note of that when I look through the grade. So one thing that will be on your test during your group is vocabulary. Um, so I'm going to turn the pen and push over your book on your phone. I'm going to show you guys what vocabulary um, is on the test, and I want you guys to find these definitions in your book and write these definitions. The vocabulary is matching. Okay, so when problem solving, can you guys hold on a phone and you That means um, projects are quite some time out. Oh, 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 o
So, like, if you have a lower than perfect score on assignments and you're not sure why, look at the dates and I can tell you exactly what date it is. You come in here and get the assignment. All right, here are your five vocabulary words right out of your chapter. Right now, you're going to define these underneath forward. On your test, it's not memorization, it's matching. You need to be able to match the vocabulary. So this will call one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's in chapter one. Find in chapter one. So my purpose of this is getting you flipping through your textbook, getting you flipping through your binder, remembering everything we've done. And then after that, you're going to start your review assignment. 